If you have a new computer and you have an old printer and there, you don't have a parallel port on the back of your computer, here is how to fix that. Um, the cell, you have one of two options. The option we're going to look at here is a PCI Express card that has a parallel port built into it. So we'll take a look at that right now. You can see, really simple concept, there's a driver in the box. You may not need it. Windows might find the driver automatically. It says it is compatible with Windows 7. You definitely want to make sure that that's the case. And it just plugs into the back of your computer, it has an old school parallel port. So on your actual computer, you want to look inside and make sure that you have the right kind of connections inside. So PCI Express looks like a little box with two sections on it and next to it written on the motherboard right here it, it says PCIe I don't know this is HD but I don't know if you can see it but it says PCIe X12 so it will fit in there so there, there are a lot of different ways to get computer cases open they're all designed a little bit differently and Usually there's a, uh, a metal piece in there that blocks off the back of the computer from it. So sometimes that metal piece you'll have to grab with a piece of plier and twist until it breaks off. And sometimes it'll just slide out of there. So in this case it has a little door that opens and then I had to break the metal piece off here in order to clear the spot for the, the actual card to go in. So you just take it with the uh, parallel part towards the back, make sure you get any cables out of the way that may be blocking things. Like in this case, I've got this, uh, this cable here that I've got to get out of the way. Then you get the teeth of it into the PCI Express connector and just press it down like that. Make sure it's solidly seated in there. And then now on the back of your computer, suddenly you have the old school ancient printer port right there. And you plug, turn on your computer on, plug into it, and you'll be able to print with it. Um, you may have to install the driver. Now the model, this is made by Cyba PCI Express Parallel Card. I've had, heard good reviews about it, so that's what I went ahead and bought. Uh, the other option, if you don't want to open your computer up, there you can get one that is a USB converter. So it goes into a USB port and then on the other end it's got a parallel printer port and you plug the printer into it. I've heard that those aren't as reliable as this PCI Express one. And since I'm doing this for somebody at work and I don't ever want them to call me again, I'm going to go with this just because they say it works better. Windows is automatically updating.